How to prevent cyber bullying in schools. An hour after I saw the posted task in my Google Classroom, I immediately scrolled my phone to find information about cyber bullying. I intentionally surfed the internet to find statistical data about the cases here in the Philippines. And to my dismay, I saw the latest results that one out of three young people in 30 countries said they have been a victim of online bullying. With one in five saying they skipped in school due to cyberbullying and violence. According to a new poll released on September 6, 2019 by UNICEF or the United Nations Organization Working for Children's Rights in the Philippines, latest national data show that cyber violence affects almost half of children aged 13 to 17. The prevalence of cyber violence for males is almost the same for females. One third of cyber violence experienced by Filipino children are in the form of verbal abuse over the internet or cell phone, while a fourth are through sexual messages. Reading the results made me realize that if there is a certain place that cyberbullying must not prevail is our school. Schools are made to protect the safety and rights of every learner. Bullying has existed in schoolyards, streets, malls, and playgrounds, both in and out of the schools, even before. But now, in our cyber age society, bullying has taken a much more pervasive rule. Although victims of bullying may have been able to find some comfort at home or away from the playground and schoolyards in the past, technology now allows bullying to be a constant torment. That is why schools must take several steps to combat cyberbullying. The first of which is to foster an atmosphere of mutual respect and empathy or appreciation of diversity. Schools should educate students of the legal repercussions of cyberbullying and include it in the school's policy and the student code of behavior. Especially the use of technology and acceptable or respectful interactions that do not prejudice the student's physical and emotional well-being. Cyberbullying attacks can be reduced by educating stu students or learners about the potential negative consequences of sharing personal information online and offering training about how to delete personal information that shouldn't be online. Second, schools must raise awareness through seminars on how students' actions can be classified as bullying, particularly if their initial motivations are to be amusing or joking. 
starting online fights with violent or insulting words that will rile people up and spark mean conversations, harassing others regularly, making demeaning remarks, sharing gossip, or deliberately attempting to remove others from an online community to harm them are all examples of cyberbullying. And we must take the responsibility to spread it to every learners. The final and the most important step is for parents and teachers to work together to fight against cyberbullying. Assuring students and parents that the school is committed to stopping cyberbullying and that cases of cyberbullying will be dealt quickly and seriously and it also assessed in bringing cyberbullying to light. Parent education sessions will also help parents to recognize the signs of cyberbullying victims and bullies so that they can respond, respond appropriately and stop overreacting or over, I mean underacting. Taking time to teach cyber ethics, engaging school counselors as needed, and promptly investigating and resolving cases of cyberbullying re will reduce the likelihood of repeated incidents. There are concerns about freedom of expression and exceeding the authority of the school. However, it is clear that this is a problem with such significant ramifications that both schools and parents must work together to solve it. Cyberbullying is not an easy case. As technology continues to become an increasingly large part of our daily lives and the lives of our children, it is important to recognize the dangers of cyberbullying and to take definite steps to prevent it. Parents, Teachers and all of us must work together to prevent cyberbullying and to make the, enter the, the internet to be a greater and safer place for all. Thank you and good day everyone.